Hi everyone, welcome to our channel again. I'm here today to do an introduction of an important new software, the GUI software. GUI stands for Graphic User Interface. It supports the operation of robot control. The device itself has combined robot motion control, real-time bus communication, and the PLC open motion as one multifunction unit control. It supports not only the robot products of our own company, but also many other robots. Uh, we can talk about the robot controller later. Today we are here to talk about the GUI software, which is very easy to use. To start any software, we have to collect it first. Now we are at the main interface of the GUI software. First, we we'll have to get control of the authority by simply entering the code. The code we have provided in the manual. Here under are three buttons, the configuration files, network configuration, and the reboot the device. Click configuration files, a new platform comes out. We can load new configuration files here and to view current configuration files. Every time when we have collected a new device, it is necessary to load new configuration files. By simply clicking down here, when finished the loading. In the network configuration, we are able to view the network information of the device being collected, the IP address, gateway, first and second DNS, etc. Important here, every time when we have finished the configuration of the two functions, we need to reset the device by simply clicking on reboot device. Later, after the configurations have been completed, the new settings are there to view on the left side. There under is the status window. All the information shall be shown down there. The software information, configuration information, and the status of the object being configured. In the configuration file of the object, it contains a robot group and three corresponding motion axes of the robot. Back to the axis on the left side, it's the main topic we are here today to talk about. Every axis can be monitored through the status in the interface. Click virtual, we can view the actual motion movement of the axis by simulating the reality of computer, building a 3D model without considering any real harm on the robot. Click switch on, the axis will be activated. The symbol there on the left side will turn green. Click Jog negative or Jog positive to adjust it manually. The real-time motion movement will be shown on the window above. Click Jog in on the button. We can adjust the parameter by entering a number. Click go to, we can make the axis to reach a certain position at once. By entering a number, that's your position there. Once you click OK, it will immediately go there. In the window below, we can set the dynamic parameters for speed, acceleration and jerk. We can monitor the status of the axis on the window above. If this error occurred, 
just click reset. We can also set the current position as position 0 by clicking homing button, start homing, and set it as 0. It has been completed and the position shows as position 0. In the homing settings, we can adjust the positions by entering a number and OK. Through these actions, we can adjust the single axis. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.